Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a short video for you guys showing you how to use chrome pigments or chrome powders with Dazzle Dry's nail system. So these are all the colors I'm going to be using today just to give you a wide variety of how they look like on top of different colors. Um, I'm also going to be using the top coat and the base coat. Uh, most of you know that the base coat will come very cloudy and in order to get it completely clear you're going to need to heat it up in a bowl or a cup of water be sure that the polish is completely clear if your polish is not completely clear it will not work as it is intended to so you need to make sure that your base coat is 100 percent not foggy so here are the chrome powders I'm going to be using today. There's just four of them. This one's like the chameleon color. I have one that shifts from blue to green and one from blue to like a pinkish color, which I think that's like the mermaid one. Now, I ordered all of these, like um, the Bored Pretty ones, by the way, in a huge package, so I can't give you the names or the numbers or anything like that. The only reason there are numbers on them is because that's for my reference, um, the way I swatched them. I'm also going to be using the one from Light Elegance. They're pretties just to see how exactly these swatch. So to start off, we're going to use two coats of color. You're going to make sure that each coat is completely dry before moving on to the next coat. After you have applied two coats of color, then we're going to go in with the base coat. Now the reason the base coat works so well is because it is a water-based base coat. If you do your research about how to get the nail polish or chrome powder to stick to nail polish, um, most of the YouTubers and nail swatchers will use a water-based base coat like the Aunt Peel-Off base coat. So we're going to go ahead and, and apply one even coat to all the nails be sure that it's completely even there's no lumps and bumps because chrome will show everything now you do want to make sure that it is 100 percent completely dry because when it's not what's going to happen is the polish and the chrome powder will become uh, really sticky and tacky and it will just start to ball up like a big booger <laughs> um, and there are, I believe, this pink one and the purple one were not completely dry on the sidewall area. So you will see that they started to gum up and ball up. So do be sure that your polish is 100% completely dry in order for this step to completely work the correct way. For reference, you can see here that it has balled up, so be sure that your base coat is completely dry or else this is going to happen and then you're going to have a lot of chipping and it's just not going to wear the way it should. Okay, so you'll see with this swatch that I do a lot of padding. Um, you will see that I do have some areas that it started to ball up and, gu and become gummy, and that's again because I did not let the base coat dry completely with the pink swatch and the purple one. So I can't mention that enough. Be sure that your base coat is 100% dry. But I did notice that you do have to do a lot of padding. Make sure that that first coat of chrome powder is padded down into the base coat, and then you can proceed with rubbing the chrome pigments to make sure those chrome pigments get down in the fingernail or the nail polish nice and flat in order to achieve that nice chrome finish. Okay, now with this swatch, I do get out of frame. I'm very sorry for that and I will be coming back into frame.
do this one, do this one. I want you to do that one. Are you doing that? Oh, you did it. Now this pigment is from Light Elegance. Um, it patted in there very well, but when I started to rub the powder into the nail, uh, most of it just kind of rubbed off, but a lot of it did stay. You can't really tell, but in in like a lot of light, you can see that it did. It's a very pretty, very, very dark emerald green. It is very hard to see in this video, but in like natural lighting, it turned out pretty, but um, this one just didn't work as well as the Born Pretty store chrome pigments did. So you'll just have to play around with what you have and see what you can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys side by side what happens when you wait for your base coat to dry and what happens when you don't wait for your base coat to dry. So you can definitely tell from the beginning and the end of the video uh, which one was dry, which one wasn't. So definitely make sure that base coat's completely dry. So once you've done all your fingernails, you're going to go ahead and proceed with another coat of base coat, making sure that everything is applied very evenly. Once the base coat dries, then you can proceed on with your top coat. And that's it. So I'm going to show you some slow motion videos of all the chrome powders um, and a few pictures of the chrome powders. I hope this helped somebody out there. Um, I have done a lot more natural nail manicures now that I have the Dazzle Dry Nail Polish. This stuff is amazing. I'm obsessed with it and I love it. Um, but I have all of these chrome powders that I don't know what to do with. So now I know how to use them. Um, I hope some of you out there found this helpful. Comment down below which one of these colors was your favorite. Um, I don't know. I kind of like them all. They're really pretty. So again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below. Um, show me some love. Like the video. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.